Hey, thanks for clicking in. This is uh, Chris Sanchez, Kingwood High School 2020 Uncommit. Uh, sits in the mid-80s. We're trying to get some more velocity at them. So what we're looking at and what we decided we were going to work on today, if you look over here on the right, we're going to watch his landing leg. We're going to watch how he lands on his toe. Right there, landing on his toe. What we've concluded out of this is that the reason why we're landing on the toe, there's not a lot of force being driven in the front foot. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to add power in the stride. So one of the first things that we do to try to add power is we add momentum, which is simply as you're lifting this leg up, you get your body going. As you can see here on this side, he's not getting his body going. As he lifts up the leg, you want to see the body just stay in the same spot right there. So this is what we want to work on over here. And we did it by holding a broomstick right here at the hip flexor and I was standing behind him so as he lifted his leg I was applying pressure right here so we really had to push that hip and push that body out so what had happened after we did about five or six of those we went to tape it and see how it affected him getting to the plate so you're going to watch now if I take him on this side as he lifts up and comes to the top of his leg lift this is before we started working you can see the entire logo of the MLB but as you see here on the other side, as he starts to lift up his leg, he gets his mass going. He gets his center of body going, and he also gets his upper body moving out. So now the top of the leg lift is right here. So you can see how much forward he moved his upper half into that area where there's nothing underneath it, which promotes more force, more power for the back leg to control when it bends. So now when he comes down on the front foot, you're going to see a big difference. You know, watch him come down the front foot, and as he comes down, he's not toe anymore, but he's actually heel and then toe. And you'll notice here, when he comes down on the other side, you're going to notice toe, but then you're also going to notice, too, once he lands, the difference in the angle of the leg. His stride got longer also. So the front leg is in a better position to stabilize right here as long as that ankle gets out in front of the knee. Here you see the ankle really not getting that far out of the front of the knee. Well, that's because his stride got longer on this side. Stride gets longer on this side as long as he stabilizes this leg. And what we mean by that is once he hits here, we don't want that leg to move. So let's take a look at it and zoom up on it and see how his front leg stabilization is. I can draw a couple dots here, back them up, take them to that spot where it lands, one click, two clicks, three clicks, and then he stabilizes. So this is also an area of interest from where those clicks, the difference in between those two, if he can tighten up that, he's able to keep more velocity in his body, but he's in such a better position to stabilize that leg with that longer stride. So, some things that you can do if your pitcher's landing on his toe, just understand that there's not enough force in the stride. He's kind of coming down like a helicopter over here on an aircraft carrier. Where over here, the aircraft carrier, he's coming down like a jet airplane. More power goes up the chain to the left rather than to the right. So this is what we're trying to get away from.